Blackburn Rovers were once an established, title-winning Premier League club. But oh, how times have changed. Ever since this chap and this sleazy entourage got their grubby little fingers into the inner workings of my club, we have fallen so far from returning to the top of the English game. Many managers have come and gone. Some liked, some hated. Until Tony, who had a dream to build his own football team. Now Rovers have turned a massive corner and after a season in the third tier, we have bounced back to the championship. Now together, we need to make this final step and try to return to the holy grail of English football, the Premier League. Join me in this journey via FIFA 19. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another FIFA 19 career mode uh, episode with Blackburn Rovers and it is the Aston Villa next. I've um, got some emails to catch up on, let's take a look at those before we get into the things. I know the board are a little bit pissed. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be bothered with that. Um, yep, we need to we need to get hit those bad boys. Owusu has returned. It's not really ideal because he's dog shite. Um, Jason Lautweiler is off to Canada, international duty. So, um, yeah, big one this one. Up against um, Aston Villa, who are mid-table. So, it would be good if we could replicate the, the form in the last game. 3-0 up against um, Sheffield United. If you haven't checked that episode, make sure you do. Goals galore in that bad boy. Anyway, let's get forward into this bad boy. So, another away game for Blackburn Rose in that uh, it seems to be a very fortunate away jersey for us. So, it's no change in the start 11 to the last game. We're going to go Raya, Bell, Lenahan, Mulgrew, Nayim, B. Armstrong, Evan Smallwood, Bennett, Dak, and Gray. And the goal scorers in the last game were Lenahan, Smallwood, and Armstrong. So, Dak was actually a quite uh, silent role in that victory. And so was DG. Aston Villa. If we can get a victory here, we should hopefully get us out of the old drop zone. Um, but it's going to be a tall order. Obviously, the Sheffield Wednesday game, I don't know if that was a freak incident or can we actually compete at this level on a regular basis? Um, as the game gets in the way, Smallwood. Heavy pass to Dak. Like I said, very quiet in the last game, so maybe we can hear a bit more of him. Armstrong now. Today, Whips a cross in. in oh, side. mighty boys. That was a good cross by Armstrong. One main striker, I'm one getting just my phone off, off the hook at the moment. Smallwood needs to do some defending here. Naimbi. Bit of a suicide pass there, boys. Not happy with that. Bell, though. Cleans house. Armstrong. He's got a guy if he can pick out a pass in the middle. A lot of work to do for Daki boy. Bell. Again, heavy touches. I like I like what they're thinking, but it's just you know we gotta we gotta kind of pull the brakes on a little bit. Bell. El Hazi now for Villa. No, mate. No, that was horrific. You don't see the pass down the stand. Oh my goodness gracious. So that little opening splurge of possession resulted in nothing. Fanny's around. Surely. Yeah, come on, mate. Hanging on with us with the skin of our teeth at the moment. What about Blackburn Rovers next game, Alan? Down we go to the left hand side. City in the next match in the championship. Who's on this? Armstrong. Whips across in. Get in! What is all of that with the crosses? Is that Big DG? I mean, it's Ducky Boy. Ducky Boy with the header. It's been quiet the last f f quite a handful of games, honestly. And he's been quiet this one. With the cross. Look at that. Whips it in there. Over the Villa defender. Smashes it home. 1-0. 1-0. Loving it. Seven goals this season. McGinn for Villa. Should be wearing a Rover shirt. Should have went to Looking Rovers instead of Villa. Uh-oh. Good effort by, by Aston Villa there, but blown it. McGinn. 
Again, does that again? How far forward does he go? Raya with the touch. We'll go out for a corner. Don't like these. Parried. Richards. Okay, well, that's a blast from the past. El Hazi. Oh, again. Massive opportunity for Villa. They are pressing us very, very hard. But fortunately, they're not finding the uh, the target yet. I still, I, I, it's, we need to, we need a second, folks. We need a second goal to kind of give us a bit of edge. There we go. Evans, Armstrong, kind of hold up play. Get a, you'll get a throw. I, oh, good effort. Did it take a deflection? It might have done. Get sweaty palms, mate. Sweaty palms. Corner's taken. Not wanting to catch the corner. He's fisted it away from danger. It's one back. Overhead kick. Woo! Fancy, fancy, fancy. That is your lot for the first half. And it's one nil here. We have got our noses in front. The away faithful were going nuts. So, okay, second half. Rovers kicking us off. Poor pass there by Smallwood. Poor. Should be not making those passes, but fortunately, they also make a poor pass. Have a swipe at it, mate. Have a fucking swipe at it. Evans trying his best to hold out play, but and we eventually get a lucky break. Can anyone help him out here? He can. It's Armstrong down the middle. He's got a lot to do if he's going to get a shot on at least. But no. Oh, a little bit of luck. Perhaps. Oh, who was that? Oh, my goodness. That was Daddy Graham. He rips the roof off the flipping stadium. It did take a touch, though. It looks like it took a touch. It is a touch. So, good save in the end. So Rodwell's coming on for Smallwood. No goal today. And in it goes. That guy has a suicide pass. Balassi. Oh, lovely. Lovely by Mulgrew. He's been a, he's been a, he stepped up the game a little bit in recent times. Because he was very slow before. Rodwell. Danny Graham wants a goal. He wants a goal today. Gomez coming on for uh, for Armstrong, which is a little bizarro. Yeah, all right, mate. None of that needed. Tons of shoots. Big effort again, DG. Making the keeper work, which is what we want to see. Big header, big header, turn to shoot. Oh, again. Benno's in there. My shooting is absolutely horrific. There we go, a bit of space now for Benno. And he has to do something. Oh, that's wonderful. Daxter should score, and he does off the post. Elusive second, his second, Rover's second. That's another three points in the bag for sure. That was a cracking goal. Cracking goal. Massive, massive goal that one. That could finally get us out of the old drop. Look at that through ball. I thought he just blew it there. I was going for the, actually trying to go for the other side. But that little a little ricochet off the post gets it. It's, it's, it's tight. It is so tight. And that, my friends, should be three points. Dak at the double. Finally, he's, he's getting back into the good stuff. Getting himself with the goals. 2-0 should be enough to claim all three points. <coughs> Who's on this? El Hazi. Trying to cause a bit of problems. <coughs> Uh-oh. Villa looking to try and pounce. Make the last few minutes very, very dicey. But Bennett is doing this bit. Trying to defend. Kind of gives it away. And there's Gomez. Just going to boot it away. <coughs> kind of level. Calm your heads down a second, yeah? 
Hepburn Murphy's coming on. Glenn Whelan coming off for Villa. And there it is. <clears throat> Massive victory for the for the Rovers here. Two 0 in the end against Villa at their gaff. Back to back away wins. Back to back uh, six pointers. So let's take a look at. Uh, and what that's done to the table. So that win has put us out of the drop zone, 20th position in the table, finally. So we're climbing the table bit by bit. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's going to be still one of those seasons where we're going to have to keep on, keep on getting the points, keep on getting the wins, and try and continue up the table. Uh, next episode, we will be taking on Stoke. And Stoke are... They're number one, they're top of the table, so that's gonna be a uh, piece of cake, right? Piece of cake. So, hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash your thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe. Until I see you again, which will be tomorrow with another video, and it will be up against Stoke. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.